Hello and welcome to the Chart of the Week video with me, Dave Madden. Today's date is Wednesday the 12th of September and the time has just gone 8.45 British Summer Time. This week's Chart of the Week is the Hang Seng, or as we call it on the CMC trading platform, the Hong Kong 50. Uh, taking a look at the price action over the last number of months, we can see that the Hang Seng has been in a classic downward trend uh, since June, a classic example of lower lows and lower highs. And in fact, actually only yesterday, the market fell to a level uh, not seen since uh, July last year. So we're talking about near kind of 14-month lows, which gives, gives you quite a good indicator of actually how, how bearish the sentiment is. Uh, taking a look at the MACD indicator, the MACD histogram down here, uh, we can see that as the price action was moving lower the last few days, we can see all these red candles here, we can see a steady increase in negative momentum. So... The MACD indicator measures momentum, the rate of change, and as you can see, there's been a steady rise in negative momentum. So the market is driving lower, and there's been a steady increase in the uh, in the rate at which um, the, the bears are actually in control. So the steady increase in negative momentum confirms the downward move uh, in in the price. So we're more confident that this negative move is is here to stay. Not to say that the market can't can't turn around, but it, it makes it's disappointing that the momentum is is currently with, with the sellers. If you do continue to, uh, to drive lower, and if you do, if you do take out uh, yesterday's low, which was just above 26,000, we could see further downward pressure being applied to the Hang Seng, and we could see the market head back down towards this area here in the kind of 25,000 region. Any moves to the upside uh, in, in the Hang Seng could run into resistance uh, in this area here, uh, the, the mid-June the mid-June low, which comes into play in around 26,726. Uh, a move beyond that, we could see resistance come into play in around the 27,500 27, region. We can see that this area did manage to act as a kind of, uh, support on a number of occasions uh, in, in the last number of weeks. And if we go beyond 27,500, the next area to keep an eye for to the upside will be this region here, uh, the late August high. And in around, we're, talk, we're talking about an area in around 28,583. Uh, it's also worth keeping an eye on the trading relationship between the U.S. and China. Uh, this has been the kind of main driving driving force behind the downward move in the Hang Seng. Uh, essentially, the U.S. has $200 billion worth of tariffs lined up uh, for Chinese imports, and they have a further $267 billion worth of uh, tariffs lined up for Chinese imports, should they actually wish to, uh, to go ahead and implement those. From uh, China's point of view, um, the, the Chinese government has stated they're going to ask uh, the WTO, the World Trade Organization, to place sanctions on the United States uh, in relation to the, the U.S. not complying with their ruling for, from a number of years ago. It's also been reported that Beijing is actually now holding back on applications of U.S. companies operating uh, in China. This is kind of seen as a way of uh, the Beijing authorities getting back um, at, at President Trump. Uh, if you have any kind of commentary or any kind of feedback on this video, uh, positive or negative, please please feel, feel free to leave a review on Google Reviews. Well, that's all for me this week. Thank you very much.